Welcome to Swarf and Chips. This week I'm bringing it to you from Micron Work Holding uh, in Kimbolton in Cambridgeshire. Now these guys are the manufacturer of the popular work holding solution, the Microlock. And over the next 10 minutes, you're gonna see how they make every aspect of it because the whole product is made here uh, in Kimbolton in Cambridgeshire. Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. So how did what was originally a subcontract machining business uh, become a world leader in the sales of work holding solutions? The design of it actually uh, came about because we originally were subcontract manufacturers. And what we found is that producing one part in a machine, in a machine device was just not economic. And therefore I started to look for ways of being able to hold more parts on the machine table. The problem is that if you do that, you need to know precisely where they're all going to be positioned without having to probe or reference each one individually. So this is how the grid plate became. The accuracy of that is really totally reliant on how we produce the parts that come off the system. So before we see how it's made, Let's see how it works. Right, this is the Microlock work holding system. Um, this is our kit 75. We do four ranges, 50, 60, 75 and 100. And that number represents the pitching of the slots. We tend to manufacture the bases to suit the machine they're going on, whether it be a large vertical or a horizontal. And there's basically three parts to the system. So you have the base, the reference base, you have the fixed jaw, that has tenons underneath which locates onto the base in the intersections. And then you have the moving jaw. That sits on a rack. And the rack moves up and down depending on the size of your components. You've got a three millimeter increment on there. So you move the vise up and down in three millimeter increments. You then get about eight mil of travel on the vise. Now, depending on the width of the part would depend where you put the end stop and depending on how much you want to clamp on would depend on what jaw or parallel you put in. So simply you slide your workpiece up to the fixed jaw and then you tighten like so. so if, you want to clamp if you want to clamp a larger part on your system you can simply move the fixed jaw to the back and then clamp a larger block like so. And in today's show, we're going to walk you through the manufacturing of a tombstone that you can see here. This is for a horizontal machining centre. We're going to walk you through step by step how this is made along with all the elements that go with it. And this is what I love about UK manufacturing. You'll see here the castings are delivered to site. They're then transported into the machine shop where John Fossey, the manufacturing director, has the responsibility of the whole manufacturing process. He firstly loads one of the tombstones onto a horizontal machining centre, actually onto a microlock base plate being secured by microlock clamps. He then probes it into position. He'll then machine the first face before actually turning this through 180 degrees and finish machining the second face to size. The tombstone is then moved across to the grinding section where the surface grinder will grind both top and bottom faces to size. Once it comes off of the surface grinder, the end faces are then machined with the necessary fixing holes that later in the process will serve to secure the base to the tombstone. 
And then lastly, we're looking at the machining of the slots. This is done on both sides of the tombstone and machined to extremely tight tolerances. This is where the microlock base plate, or how the microlock system achieves its precision repeatability. So next, we're talking about the clamps. The microlock uses a wedge type vise. The good thing about a wedge clamp is that it tends to pull the part down when you clamp it in, so minimising the amount of lift you get, especially when you're doing second operations. The bodies are firstly loaded to a vertical machining centre on a microlock system. They are practising what they preach here. In fact, they're using the hydraulic version of their system to machine multiple components at once, quickly and effectively. Once machined, if necessary and need to be, the parts are then ground. The finished bodies are then assembled where they're ready to be dispatched to the customer. And then of course, then there is the locator. This is where the precision uh, and the repeatability come from on the system. Now this is made from EN32B. Uh, it's machined, hardened and then ground. Like I said, it's not just a, a clamping system, it's a referencing holding system. So the idea behind it is it's going to save a lot of time in setups and you're going to locate the workpiece as well as clamp it securely. And another aspect of the system that's again made here in Kimbolton in Cambridgeshire is all of the accessories that go with it. So for example, if you wanted soft jaws, if you wanted V jaws, or if you wanted serrated jaws, depending on the applications that you're looking to hold. All of those are made here using their Matsura multi-pallet horizontal machining centre. And as with any product that's been manufactured, we wanted to hear from Microlock customers and users. So we selected a handful and asked them what they thought of the system. It's transformed what is a three axis mill into, well, a four axis mill, but you can do a lot more with it and um, it's, it makes it so much more flexible. Well, I've only used vices before, but I'm very impressed with this system. It's very easy to set up, very quick. So, any job that goes up there, every time it goes onto the machine, it can be um, up and running very quickly. Uh, we choose that because uh, that's going to re reduce our you know, machining time because we, can, we are able to run at the moment 12 parts in the same time. That we have 12 parts, for example, in the 10 minutes time, not you know, one part in the 12 minutes time. That we can start the job quicker, finish the job quicker, and obviously our customer is going to be happy. We, got, we are happy that we can, you know, finish the job early and we have the machine free for the next job. Jim, tell me about it, you absolutely love it I understand. Absolutely love it, yeah I've been using it for over 20 years, it's still accurate, it's versatile, easy to use and it's generally so versatile. You know. And it was a pleasure to spend the day with not only Matt Jeunesse, the sales director from Micron Workholding, but also the founder, Mike Jeunesse. I wanted to hear more about his backstory. I started in business about 40 years ago as a subcontractor uh, manufacturing and it became uh, very obvious that the only way you could make money out of doing subcontract work is if you could hold more parts on your machine table at one setting. I then started to think of ways that maybe I could achieve this and really that's how the start of the Michael Act happened. And that's it for this week's Swarf and Chips. This completed tombstone is going to be on its way to its new home at a company in Cambridgeshire. Uh, total production time on the manufacturing of this that you've seen throughout today's show is actually around about five days. Now, if you're after precision repeatable work holding, it doesn't have to be in a tombstone format like this for a horizontal. You could, of course, have a vertical machining centre and look for a standard base plate of pretty much any size. Uh, you need to contact Microlock via their website at microlock.com.